We've all done it. You wake up in the morning, groggy, and you hear that faint but unmistakable sound of the trash truck coming down the street, and you realize that you forgot to put the bins out last night. Well, with AI and about $100 worth of hardware, you never have to live through that uncomfortable realization ever again. You can build a home automation system that can look at where your bins are on trash night and gently remind you if they're not where they're supposed to be. And I'm gonna show you how it's done. Hey, this is Doug from High Tech Life, and this is probably gonna be by far the trashiest video I will ever make. And that's because it's gonna be all about your trash bins. Believe it or not, this is actually a really popular automation topic among home automation enthusiasts everywhere. And there have actually been some helpful solutions developed over time. Sometimes it involves using NFC tags that you swipe with your phone when you take the bins out, or maybe putting little Bluetooth trackers on each bin. But all that just seems like too much work. I want AI to just do this for me. And with the new AI capabilities released in Home Assistant last month, this is totally doable now so that I can do this. Hey Jarvis, did I take out the trash? Yes, I can see two bins out on the street. And I can have good old Jarvis there nag me with notification alerts on my phone on trash night if it sees that I haven't taken the bins to the curb. So let me walk you through how you can go about setting this up in your home. If you're not familiar with setting up Home Assistant or the new AI functions that were released in August, you may want to go back and look at my previous two videos on the subject because we're building off a lot of what was in there. So let's walk through it together. Okay, so let's walk through how we set everything up in Home Assistant here. So uh, what I have set up right now is I have a dashboard page has the actual camera view on here, and it has this trash bin counter currently showing zero. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up the number helper. This is the variable on where we're gonna store this, this trash bin counter. So to do that, you just go into your helpers section and you create a new number helper. And just say trash bin count. And the minimum value will be zero. The maximum value in theory would be two. We only have two trash bins, but I don't know, maybe the neighbors uh, will all sort of blow down the street or something. So I'm just gonna put a five in here for that. And now I have that counter helper stored. This is gonna be important when we set up the automation because the AI response only exists in the automation during the time it's running. So then we've gotta go and store that somewhere else. So um, have that helper declared now. And so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build our automation to go and do all this. So the Blink camera that I'm using for this, um, because it is 80 feet away from where the trash bins actually are, the infrared motion sensor is not gonna pick it up that it saw somebody move something in or out of that space. And there's other things going on with cars going up and down the road. So what I do here is I just do some time of day based updates for this. So the first thing I might do is say, okay, well, every day, um, just a little bit after sunrise, 900 seconds, 15 minutes, let's go ahead and run this whole sequence. But the other thing that we would wanna go and we'd wanna say is maybe at 7 p.m. Uh, the night before my trash collections. So my trash collections are Tuesday and uh, Friday. So on Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m., I want it to go and I want it to check if the trash bins are down at the end of the street. I'm setting this at 7 p.m. because this Blink camera is not terribly good at nighttime views. It has a very, very low powered infrared so it can illuminate and see what's at the end of the street. If you have a better camera, if I had a better camera, I would probably set this alert to be 10 p.m. right before I maybe go to bed and set through and do this. So, so that's gonna be our conditions, or sorry, our triggers that are gonna cause this automation to execute. Then what we wanna do, because this is a Blink camera and it is cloud-based, uh, I wanna go and I wanna force a refresh of this. And when I force the refresh of this because it is cloud-based, this might take 10, 15 seconds. So I just sit a little uh, wait for a time to pass delay in here of let's say 30 seconds. And we're just gonna go through and then wait for that to go and, and get a proper update on that. 
Then once we have the new image, we need to go and we need to call the AI task generate data function here. And this is how we're going to go and pass that image out to Gemini. Uh, if you haven't set up your Gemini integration, I did cover that in my first video on using these AI sequences. I'll link to that here so you can go and find that and get that set up if you need to, but it's already set up for now. So I'm going to go ahead and perform this action and I'll just, just call it count trash bins. There's nothing in this action that is particularly important or relevant. This is just a friendly name you put in here for this. And then this is the prompt I've sort of pre-built for this. And just simply I describe it and say, okay, this is a, an image out of a front door camera. It's a yard, a step, a walkway. I want you to evaluate the image for trash bins you can see at the end of the driveway on the street. Count how many are visible. Return a numeric answer of zero if nothing is visible. You have to select your entity, which would be the Google AI task. And then this is the key part. You have to hold this response in what's called a response variable. So I'm going to call this trash result. And this is what I said before, and this is why we created the number helper. Because this trash result, once this has a zero, a one, or a two, or, or maybe more, that coming back from the AI, that number is only going to exist in Home Assistant for the remainder of the duration of this automation. Once this automation is complete, this value goes away. So I have to deliberately take a step to then go and store this somewhere else. So that's the reason for the helper on that. Hey, this is Future Doug coming to you from the editing studio. And I realized I just made a mistake here in the automation. It did not execute this morning. And so I wanted to show you what I'd done wrong here. Uh, so in here, in this step here with the AI task, um, I forgot to go and list the attachment, the actual camera here, where you define that and tell it which camera image to use to then generate its result overall. So uh, I fixed that. Everything's working fine right now. Everything else in the rest of the video is working good, but I just want to interrupt here and issue that short correction. And so in order to go through and do that, I'm going to go ahead and select this action for my number helper, sets the value of a number. And when you set the value, what you do is you just do these little double squiggly braces and then you say, and you say trash result dot data. That's important. And because this is a numeric, I just usually say integer here. So that's going to go ahead and that's going to store whatever comes back from the AI into our trash bin counter helper that we created earlier. And then what I like to do sometimes it's just as a debugging step is I like to create a persistent notification. Um, this will help you kind of see the result because otherwise a lot of stuff just happens behind the scenes. So I'm going to go ahead and say just Gemini AI. And in terms of the message, I find I have to edit this one in YAML and you'd put it right here where the message is. Now you have to do quotes and then the two squigglies, trash result data. And since we're not storing it anywhere here, I'll just sit, leave it at that. And then you bring that back to the visual editor here. So this is our full automation uh, at sunrise every day, uh, 15 minutes after that, because then I'll have enough light to see if there's trash bins there. This script will execute or it will execute at 7 p.m. on Monday or Thursday, which are the nights before my trash collection. And then our steps here will trigger the mailbox camera uh, from Blink. We're going to delay for 30 seconds because it's a cloud based camera. We're going to ask Gemini. How many trash bins do you see? We're going to store that value in this in this number, uh, this number helper we created, and then we'll just post that to a persistent notification, which appears down here. So we can kind of go and double check that. So I'm going to save this. Save that as update trash bin counter. And then what I've done in terms of that script, I said that I set up on the dashboard here, this manually update counter, this manually update counter just triggers a script that I created um, that basically does the exact same thing. It triggers that camera, delays for 30 seconds, um, runs that AI task, and then updates the value. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put some trash bins out on the street because right now there's zero out there. Okay, so
So I have put some trash bins out on the street. You're not seeing it in the camera view yet because the camera last updated three minutes ago. And so it has an old view here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the script to manually update the counter. And what that should do now is that's going and that's triggering that refresh on the blink camera. So it's gonna go and use that and you can already see now there's two trash bins down at the end of the street there, the two that I just put out there. And then it's gonna wait a few more seconds. It's gonna ship that image off to the Google Gemini API and say, give it that whole prompt. How many trash bins do you see? Return a response if you don't see any trash bins, return zero, but visually there are two distinguishable trash bins down at the end of the street right now. So after a few more seconds, I should hopefully get this trash bin counter. And there we go. Our trash bin counter jumped up to two and we see the notification here, Gemini AI two, that's sort of our debugging. So we can go take that step out. I don't need to go and keep doing that. So that's how we update the counter. Once the counter is up to date, then it's simply just a matter of creating automations that are gonna run at certain times of the day to remind you or prompt you. So let's create another automation for notifications. And here, I will probably just set the time pattern to be 7.05 a.m. on the actual trash days, Tuesday and Friday now. And I will add a condition I'll just say numeric state. If my trash bin count is below one, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say, we'll just send out a notification to my phone. And we'll say Gemini AI, it's 7.05. And then we just save that off, or not out. And that's everything. That is how we will go and update that counter. We can go through and then have this fire at certain times. If the bin count is zero, if it's one, if it's two, you could do more advanced things. So I just set this as below one, but maybe I would do below one for Tuesdays, which is our normal trash pickup. Fridays is our recycling. So I'd maybe make another version of this automation that would say if it's below two, say, okay, there are not two trash bins out and it is recycling day. So you can do all sorts of things with this. You can even go and have it say, if the trash bins are out too long, you have forgotten to pull them in. You can go and have that go and set, send you an alert as well. So there's just so much cool stuff you can do with this, but that's really all it takes. Got to create that helper variable, uh, that number helper. Got to create the automation that ships the image off to the AI gets the result back, stores it in the number helper, and then the simple automations to notify you whenever you wanna be notified on whether you've got those trash bins out on the street or not. And that's it, that's all it takes. One camera, one single image, two times a week on each of the trash nights to update our helper variable. And then alerts whenever they make sense for you. And it's making this assessment from 80 feet away, all from a simple blink camera. This is amazing. I've got a bunch more of these in the pipeline, including pet detection and sunset prediction and a bunch of other things. So if you want to see more of these when they come out, be sure to hit subscribe below and we'll see you next time.